Hello, this is Joe with Joe's Astrophoto.com. Today we're going to go over autofocusing in Nina. In this video, I talk a lot about HFR, and I just wanted to take a quick minute to describe what that is. HFR stands for half flux radius, and it's just simply a way to measure a star. There's lots of ways to measure stars, but the autofocus in Nina uses HFR. HFR is something you have to get a feel for, kind of like the temperature or how much something weighs. It's going to change and be different for everyone based on your equipment, your camera, your telescope, the pixel size on your sensor. Um, it's also going to be dependent upon the object that you're shooting and your atmospheric scene for the night. Um, some nights you might have excellent scenes, some nights it just might be good or even bad or poor, and that's going to have a huge effect on your HFR. And so the only real way to know what is in a good range for you of HFR is by doing a lot of astrophotography and just getting a feel for, you know, when your pictures are in focus and when they're not in focus and what that HFR is. As I mentioned in this video, the, a good range of HFR for me is between two and three. Um, but not on all objects. On some objects like the Horsehead Nebula, where stars are really large, like on the talk, then my HFR could be between three and four, and I'll still get a pretty good image. But usually it's between two and three. And you might find that a good HFR for you is one in 1.5 to two, or 4.5 to five. I mean, it all really depends on your equipment and where you're located and your atmospheric conditions. So I just wanted to get that out there because I mentioned it a few times in the video and I didn't want anyone to get confused. I'm out in the observatory. Uh, it's just before 8 o'clock at night, local time. And I wanted to go over some autofocusing. I'm going to go to autofocus. And we're going to start the autofocus sequence. Now, I've got the focuser set for 10 seconds, 10 second images. It's pretty cold out here. I don't know how this is going to do with all the lights on. I usually um, am doing this from the house and it's completely dark outside out here. I did notice that when I did a 10 second exposure that I could see um, a lot of light in the exposure so I don't know if that's going to really affect the autofocus or not but we'll find out so as you can see the graph on the screen is showing the autofocus run it starts with what it thinks might be the best uh, focus or the position that it's on now and then it starts moving out in steps of 20 because that's what I have set I'll show you that in a minute but It'll start moving out and taking shots, and then when it gets out to where it thinks is the end, or where it's pretty out of focus, it starts moving back in and taking shots. And what happens is, is you get somewhat of a V, as you can see on the screen, where the two um, vectors of the V meet is where it says the position's the best, and then it gives an HFR of 323 in this case isn't that fantastic to be honest with you so that could mean that the lights are actually affecting this and I might need to run it again with the lights off so give me one second and we'll try it again okay, I'm gonna run the autofocus again now with all the lights off we'll give it another shot this autofocus came in with an HFR of 2.91 which is much better, and the lower it is, the better off you are. I'll go into options, and I'll double click this, and I'll change it to um, 7720. Okay, so in the focus offset here, you've got um, 
you could put the numbers in for each of the filter wells and the autofocus exposure for um, my luminance red green and blue I've got set to five seconds well my narrow band set to 10 because it takes a little longer to to get a solid image I really don't use the focus offsets but if I decided not to do an autofocus with each filter change then um, Nina would change the focus for me based on the numbers that I set in this column. That's really it for um, autofocus. If you go to image and go to the filter wheel, you can change to the next filter. So say we were going to do red next, and we would click change. And then we would just run another autofocus. And I mean, really, you could do all of your filters in about 20 minutes at the start of the evening. The problem is, is that throughout the course of the evening, especially in the winter, um, we have long nights and the temperature is going to drop tremendously between, say, um, 6 p.m. at night and 6 a.m. in the morning. I mean, you're, you might, we see about a 10 to 20 degree drop uh, in temperature Fahrenheit here where I live, so you really do need to set it to autofocus with the filter change. There's also some uh, other options that you could check um, every 30 minutes, or um, if you've got a temperature gauge, which the ZWO uh, electronic autofocuser does have, um, you can set it to any time the temperature changes by a certain amount, like five or 10 degrees, Fahrenheit that you can that you would automatically force uh, an autofocus. Autofocus is completed and it's got a position of 7694 and an HFR of 2.95. And again, it, anything in the twos is, in my opinion, excellent. So the 7694 is what we would put in based on this temperature. So we'll add that in now, 76.94, and that's it. I mean, that's, that really is all you do. It's, it's very simple. If you like this type of content, please hit like and don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.